Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be working on this Nintendo GameCube. Um, I'm going to put in a, a Raspberry Pi Pico um, on this unit. Um, I'm also going to be swapping out the power light from the red. And I think, I think I'm going to do green today. So um, it's, it's not difficult to do, but there are a couple of wires that are, that are pretty, uh, questionable whether you can get them in there or not. Um, you need to have your wires a certain length, you know, stuff like that. So you will need a soldering iron. Um, you'll need some wire and of course a Raspberry Pi Pico and a way to boot it to an SD card. So with that being said, uh, let's uh, move my camera around and we'll get this apart and we'll get started. Okay, so I've taken the board out of the chassis. Um, we're not going to do anything on the back side. Just makes it a little bit easier, especially for filming, since my camera's only, you know, that far away. So I've got this turned over here uh, for myself, um, and. I don't typically use flux. Um, I will be using some flux on here. Um, you can use flux on all this. Uh, you know, there is flux in in uh, in my solder here. So, um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bridge my two ground connections. So those are going to be these right here. So I'm just going to, I just want to put a bunch of solder on here so I can bridge those, those two just like that. And I can see, I can clearly see those are not touching. And we'll start with our ground. Um, so this is as long as the wires are. So this thing is going to be, you know, this 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 is plenty long enough. Um, I'll actually most likely be trimming some of this off. So so let's start here. And uh, I've already I've already kind of stripped the the wire there. So I'm just going to heat this up back up, and I'm just going to push that in there let it sit for a second and I can pull it see that's kind of what you want next uh, let's do since I'm right-handed I'm gonna do the GP5 pin which should be this one right here so let's uh let's dab a little solder on there. Doesn't take much. And then let's see here. So I'm going to kind of bend this wire like this so I can get this over here. And it is a little bit long, and that's okay. But I don't want this to touch anything else. So we're good there. Now it is long, so I'm just gonna take my little snips here. And just snip that off. Make sure you uh, get all that wire off of there. Okay. So we're just going to leave that one there like that. Okay. Next is going to be our our three our three point three volts, and that one's going to be a couple 
couple of pins over. Clean my tip here. Okay. So that's going to be this one right here. Don't need a whole lot. Okay. And then uh, let's attempt to do the same thing here. So I'm just going to set that here just like that. Let's heat this up. Yeah, it looks like I might need a little more solder on that one. Let's uh, dab some on there. Okay. Okay. I think we're good there. I'm going to do the same thing, all this extra wire. I'm just going to snip that off. There we go. Okay. Let me take a little closer look here. Oh yeah, that looks that looks good. Okay. I'm going to put that there. This ground wire. I can move down here. Okay. So that's that's uh this is about how I'm going to route it. Okay. And I'll put a piece of uh capped on tape across this before I'm done. Now, uh moving moving to the tip. I want to show you. So, currently, let me turn this light off here for a second. Currently, you can see my iron my iron tip there. I've got a chisel tip. And if I go to put that on there, you can you can see you know, so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna put a smaller tip on here for that. Uh, might just make things a little bit easier. Um, if you don't have other tips, you know, you just do what you gotta do. Uh, always have some of this stuff handy. Um, this stuff could be a lifesaver for you okay so once I uh, swap out that tip I'll bring you back okay so I've swapped my tip out for this one you can you can kind of see the difference in size so this one here I should be able to be a little more precise um, so first thing I want to do is I want to put some solder on that that pin. So we're going to take the third one over right here. Let's just go like this. There we go. And I don't normally use um, flux, but I'm going to use some of this flux on here. Just uh, just because it is how it is, okay. And then I'm gonna take my wire and I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on kind of like this. Just kind of gotta make sure it's all twisted nice, okay. Um, I've seen guys put it on like this and you can the problem is you know then you got a wire sitting on top so we're gonna attempt let's uh, 
try and use these tweezers instead. Uh, bend that a little bit tighter there, I think. Okay. Uh, this can be pretty fiddly, so let's uh, use two hands here. And I basically, what I want to do is I want to set this down. It doesn't matter how long that wire is, really, because um, you can always trim it off. Let's twist this up a little bit. Sometimes I find that it's just easier to use my finger. I know, that's what she said. Ha. Ah. Okay. I think that's good right there. So, let's uh, get some solder on the tip here. And let's touch that on there. Cool it off a little bit. And there we go. And this one here, I'll be able to route it around. And it looks good. Um, if you're worried about it, you can, you know, get your uh, multimeter out and you can tone that out just to make sure that you don't have anything bridged. I'm using I'm using these little things here so I can see a little bit better okay so we're gonna do the same let's put some more flux on there do the same thing to the other side except this time we're gonna put it on the second one there okay I'm gonna be in your way There we go. Okay, we got some solder there. Okay, uh, let me uh, turn the sound off on this so that doesn't bother us. Okay, so now we got this wire. Um, I've had I've had people comment why I don't tin my wires very often and simple fact is I don't really find that much of a benefit to do it so I don't okay so let's uh, well, let's put some more flux on there since we burned it all off and I'm gonna set that wire on there I got the wrong hand there. Like that. I hope you guys can see this. It is pretty fiddly. So I'm I am completely lined up with that. So let's uh I'm just gonna put a little bit of just a little bit of solder on the tip and just push it down on there. Yeah, see now I I just bridged that over, so let's uh, pull that off and let's drag that off, so we're not bridged. And let's add some more. And let's do that again. Clean off my tip. So what I'm doing is I'm getting, you know, the, the yellow part I'm kind of putting towards the end. And then I just want to push the wire onto it with my, with my iron. 
and we're bridged again. Let's see if I can clear that bridge like this. Uh, a little easier said than done sometimes. There we go. Okay. Now let me uh, get up close here and take a look. And it doesn't look too bad. I think I got a little, a little thick on there, so and that's okay. We can. Uh, Manipulate that just a little bit. There we go. Perfect. And that's nice and wet. It's a good weld. And let's snip that off there. Okay. Another thing you're going to want to do is maybe put a little bit of that capped on tape on there. Um, it's this little yellowish orangey stuff but before we get too far um, let me uh, grab my toothbrush um, I don't brush my teeth with this because I'm dipping it in a jug of uh, 90 what is this? 99.9% .9 IPA. So we just want to want to clean that flux. So this is all we're going to do here. Okay. So while that's doing that, um, yeah, let's go ahead and clean this off too. Okay. And let's grab a napkin here. So one of the things you can do too is you set, you can set this down on there and just kind of to help kind of wick it up. And we'll blow on it a little bit. Put that away so there's no accidents. And same one. Let's put this lid back on that flux. Okay, so next. We just need to do some routing on here. And I think before we get that far, I thought I had some shrink tube. So you can put some shrink tube on here. Um, the way I do it, it's not necessary. However, um, I would suggest that you that you do that. And let me find my shrink tube. There it is. I got a little piece here. Right here. Well, it's not really shrink tube, but uh, security cable. It might be. I'm just going to cut this in half. We're going to put all our wires in it. So, hopefully, they all fit. And one of them, one of them's going to be pretty tight. So, let's, uh, let's separate these out. Since I have two pieces, we'll put these three. 
here. Okay. And I'll take this other two. Put in the other one. Okay. So I think I think that'll be good there. So we're gonna need to let's put this back in the chassis. Um am I backwards here? Yeah. Nope. this back in the chassis okay and then we need to grab our CD here let me uh, turn this so you can see what I'm doing I'm not not permanently putting this on yet so you can see kind of see where it's going so this tab right here I'm just gonna break that off And I've got some little pliers here. So, so all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna start bending this back and forth. So, because we don't need that on there. And then uh, let's bend that like that we got a nice roll so we're not going to cut anything okay so before I tape anything down I'm just going to put this on like this And you can see, and you don't have to tape it. So our Raspberry Pi, or our Raspberry Pico, uh, will actually be sitting here like this. Um, and I'll use some double stick tape for that. <clears throat> okay, so we're good there. I'll set that aside. And let's, uh, Grab some of this tape here. Got some scissors over here. Okay, let's cut that in half again. Okay, so I'm going to put some tape right across this, just like that. And we can use the toothbrush for that. And then uh, I'm gonna suggest for you guys, just go ahead don't use hot glue, um, but take a piece of your uh, your tape here and just put it over there. So the heat sink has to go back on this, and this heat sink is going to cover that up. Uh, that's why you don't really want to have it have the wires going over that chip and I know there's some guys out there that can do a much prettier job than this and that's okay uh, you're not gonna be having this open looking at it all the time so let's put our pieces over here okay so I got a, a fresh battery um, so I've already I've already stripped the you know a little bit off of the wires here. So um, these are the two 
that are coming off of that chip. <clears throat> and let's start with uh, let's see that one is GP67 which should be which we're, we're gonna have to bridge that one so let me strip off a little bit more wire here and I'll show you why here in a sec <clears throat> so on your uh, your Pi uh, GP 6 and 7 should be right here and I'm just gonna hold this like this and grab some solder oh. I haven't changed my tip back and I probably should have but it's okay okay and then I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna bend this over to where it touches GP7. Let's uh, there we go. Now we kind of got them bridged across there. Okay. So I want to double check it, make sure it's truly GP6 and 7. Okay, and then this other one is going to be GP4, which is right there. go get that in there kind of nice there we go okay <clears throat> And then let's do GP5. So, and you can see I'm just kind of moving these around. That's ground. And that's the 3.3 volts. And there's our GP5. So GP5 should be that one there. You can get board stands and all kinds of stuff for these, but sometimes it's just easy enough just to do this. Okay. There's GP5. And let's see, what's this one here? This one's ground. So ground would be on the other side. And if we look on here, there's a ground there. But on my screen that you can't see, I've got uh, I've got this the the little uh, picture up that they have. Oh, now I lost track here. There's ground. 
So if you look on the the pi, you'll see the third one up is ground. Okay. We'll stick that note. That's 13. There's ground right there. Okay, and then there should be one left, which is 3.3 .3 volts, so this one is going to be, again, there's 3.3 .3 volts right there, and that will be the fifth one down, so... One, two, three, four, five, and if I look on the other side, yes, 3.3 .3 volts. And actually, uh, let's fix this wire here. There we go. Okay, so we've got all those on, and some of our wires are long, and that's okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to heat them up, and kind of bend them over. Like this. Okay, Okay. so everything looks good, I think we're good there, so now let's uh, set this back on the base, you know, before we get too, too far. Plug that in there. I want to go ahead and uh, screw these down. Okay. So I'm not sure how well you can see that, but we've got that all on there, you know, and then again, that's going to be sitting up here. We'll grab our, uh, well, let's grab this here and make sure that we're good to go. On that, I'm not going to put all these screws in yet. Because I just want to, I just want to test it. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to have double stick tape and I'm going to be putting that there. It'll sit there just like that. Uh, they make 3D printed little part 
there that you can just slide this into. I don't have any of those, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to grab our uh, controller ports here. I'm just going to plug in just so I can test. Now, this particular one does have, let's see, if it's right here, does have a serial port. And I do have some of these. Now, there's a lot of people that have problems with these. And if this one is a problem, uh, what I do is I just add solder on all those fingers to make it thicker and they seem to work. So, uh, now that we're at this stage, um, let me get this hooked up to the TV. Uh, I already have a, an SD card that I'll put in here and we'll test it. And hopefully everything works. So, I'll bring you back here in just a minute. Okay, so I've got it hooked up, and you can see it right here. Um, I'm going to turn this on, and you can see it directly loads in. There's no CD on there, no nothing. So, um, you can go in here. You know, I've got the Game Boy Player on this particular one. Um, we'll set this aside and I'll show you this one that, uh, here in just a minute. Uh, but you go into the in, into any game that you have. Um, if you mod your Wii, uh, you can copy your GameCube games to the NS, an SD card and you can load them on here. So. Um, We'll just uh, we'll just load a game. Uh, let's go Mario Golf. And I better turn it down since it's Nintendo. The sound does work, and you can see the game is the game is starting. So yeah, I don't have a memory card in there. Oops. So the game is working. Um, let's uh, do a reset here. If you hit the reset, it just goes back to the beginning of the game, just like it was in a disc. And I believe there's a there's a utility you can put on your SD card or a setting, but I've never done it. So when you hit reset, it goes back to the Swiss menu. But, uh, see, we've got F0 on here, so let's uh, take a look at this one. You can see that's a PAL, a PAL game. So this is a PAL game, and you can see my TV doesn't like it. But uh, this version is compatible, blah, 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 60 hertz mode. There we go. So you can see F-Zero is playing. Even though this is a PAL game, I'm able to play it. Okay, so I got all that in there. I'm putting the case back on and uh, if you guys have any questions on this, um, put them down in the comments. Um, I try to I try to answer as many as I can. I'm, I usually answer them all. I don't get that ma that many views. Anyway, but uh, I'll try to help you um, with just a few tools. You could do this yourself. Um, this this is a pretty easy. A pretty easy one with the exception of a couple of those uh, 
those chips. Um, you can still pick up GameCubes pretty cheap-ish, I guess you could say. Um, this particular one I've had for many years. Um, and I've got a couple of other ones, but I do do a lot of work for people local. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, this particular uh, SD card is a 32 gigabyte. Um, again, you know, the these things practically fall into that serial port. When you use this one here, after you put, just lay some solder on there, uh, when you put this in, you know it's in there and it's not gonna feel like it's gonna fall out like this one. But, you know, this one works, so we're just gonna put it in like that. And then we're gonna put the cover on like that and we're gonna leave it so there you go again if you have any questions uh, let me know uh, put them in the comments uh, like and share the video I, I appreciate all you guys watching and I'll see you next time